Fred Geyer's task uh, was studied in uh, 2012, which was one year after uh, the disaster, uh, tsunami, earthquake, and nuclear crisis happened in Japan in 2011. I tried to sort of like um, find a way to understand what's happening uh, in the post-disaster situation uh, in Japan, uh, not only in the area of tsunami ahead, but uh, at the same time of the city like Tokyo, because um, uh, when the earthquake happened, we are all like facing sort of like a very strange moment uh, because uh, uh, usually when you, we live in like a big city like Tokyo, London, New York, uh, we are always kind of like ignoring each other. But uh, uh, when, when this like, disaster happened, somehow people start helping each other. So uh, they start to sort of like uh, facing each other in a way, physically. Um, I actually not calling my activity as the performance because performance usually uh, staged like uh, uh, and that's dividing like a performer and the beholder. In my activity, I call it it's more like a collective action or collective acts, which is more like uh, basically there is no uh, border between who is the performer or who is the audience. Okay. So everybody become a participant. I, uh, I do uh, organize two uh, new edition of precarious tasks. Uh, one is the uh, we gather at the museum, then go to uh, a local bar, uh, which is distance from museum, like over 20 kilometers away, uh, which is the same uh, distance from the uh, Fukushima uh, nuclear power plant, that uh, uh, sort of like uh, evacuation area where uh, people cannot live for, I don't know, uh, more than 100 years or something. So uh, sometimes we just drink a tea, or sometimes we just uh, uh, walk, a, walk a city at night, and sometimes we just sleep together. But uh, I don't want to, let's say, document that as a video work, uh, because um, video production is it's kind of like a force to the audience to react in a way as a performer. So uh, instead of using the video, I only use like a camera, uh, I mean a phot photograph. Uh, each photograph sort of like uh, representing like what's happening, but uh, it's uh, totally um, lacking of the, the feeling of experience mm -hmm. because the photograph itself is just photograph. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> and that's the reason why I also uh, uh, like wrote sort of like uh, artist notes uh, of each each precarious tasks, and um, within this uh, the sort of like architecture model and the photograph and uh, uh, the text itself, uh, it's created sort of like a different idea of uh, what happening before. So it's a little bit similar of like when you're reading a newspaper or something. If you participate uh, the event of precarious tasks, probably it's much richer than the uh, being here to see the, um, uh, the, the documentation. But the documentation itself also give you the different idea of the experience because you imagine what's happening uh, in the uh, the events, and also that's the reflect my idea of because. I didn't experience the uh, earthquake in Japan because I lived in New, uh, Los Angeles. So uh, I tried to bridge uh, like the one reality to the other, which is also I was facing when I uh, saw the image of the earthquake in Japan. Actually, I, I'm not really, let's say, optimistic in a way. <laughs> Uh, I'm not just giving the audience to let's work together or let's uh, collaborate together because collaboration or even just a gathering <coughs> that's probably generate a beautiful like moment sometimes. But at the same time, collaboration is disaster too because um, if you had any experience 
working with someone else, sometimes it's good, but sometimes it's bad because uh, sometimes we fail. And uh, um, I, uh, I was not really just uh, saying, okay, the collaboration is beautiful things, but somehow working with some other or uh, gathering uh, totally different people, which uh, gives us a sense of uh, what we are. Because um, even if fail, even uh, we just like facing the failure, that shows us uh, ourselves. So then we probably understand what we are doing and what we are, and also uh, what we need to do 